Hello and welcome everyone, this is Lil Ranga aka Dave and I am bringing you a new series today. It's going to be cool gaming news, it's basically where I cover the latest, well, most informative stuff which you might be interested in and I thought I'd give it a go. But today we're talking about the Xbox 720 which is supposed to be announced next month along, along with Call of Duty Ghosts. And I'm just going to go through a few rumours, not all of these have been confirmed but these are what an independent site believes. The processor and graphics are what we're going to start off with. Uh, it's likely that the Xbox 720 will be including an AMD CPU and graphics. I have no problem with this, as I do have an AMD graphics card, but I don't particularly like their processor too much, as a personal opinion. But, you know, and it'll also there have been rumours that it will run two GPUs. That's going to be interesting because it will be it won't be like a crossfire, but it will be something a little bit different. So it's going to be it's um it's going to be interesting to see how they pull that off. But um, fortunately, it probably say it it will be hopefully at 1080p and at least 30 FPS. That's one good thing about it. The next point we're going to do is Blu-ray. It has been confirmed that the next Xbox must have a Blu-ray player purely because it was such a big hit in PS3's development. When they came out of Blu-ray, yes it was more expensive, but people enjoyed the quality of that a lot more than they did at Xbox. So, in my opinion, if Xbox don't include a Blu-ray, they're pretty stupid. And I'm sure you've all heard about the watermark or whatever you want to call it on games that will only allow you to buy them brand new. I don't believe this is going to happen. They wouldn't do this. They will kill the second hand market on this. And it doesn't seem logical that they would just make a single use code. I don't know how. They say they'll do it through watermark, but I don't see how exactly they're actually going to do that. So, unless of course they're the watermark and they're Xbox burns it or something like that. I don't know, but I don't think it'll happen. So if I were you, I would not worry about that whatsoever. Now we come to the most important part: controllers. The Xbox 360 controller will be a lot similar to the Xbox Seven. No, yeah, sorry, the other way round. You know what I mean. They will be very similar, but then apparently there'll be a few tweaks. Seeing as PS4, PS. PS4 are having DualShock controllers um, in order to interact with games and stuff like that. Xbox need to include their own version of this and put some more stuff of that in. Moving on quickly, we've got speech recognition. Um, apparently on the 720 there will be some sort of camera or microphone and it will be similar to the Kinect. I don't see how it's a good thing seeing as the Kinect microphone is quite terrible, but the um, camera's not too bad, but the microphone is absolutely terrible on that, so I don't see how it's going to work. Fortunately, because Microsoft have recently, not recently, but they've now they've bought Skype, Skype will definitely be on the Xbox 720. It says it's going to be the default communications platform in place of the standard Xbox Live chat system and messenger service. So that basically means part Xbox Live parties and stuff, we're basically going to be using, um, and we're basically using Skype instead. Moving quickly to the price, this is probably one of the most important things for most of you. People say that the rumours are suggesting that it's going to be $299 in the US, and here in the UK it's going to be thought to be cost around £300. Granted, that's not a lot compared to what the PS3 was like when it came out, but it's going to be an interesting, um, interesting to see how much these actually go for. Hopefully, they won't go for a ridiculous amount. But some people say that they'll um, be going around for roughly four hundred dollars and two hundred fifty pounds if you exclude taxes. That's not good. And the worst thing possible is apparently they're going to be adding an extra £10 onto games. This is going to be terrible for us hard, well, for us people who enjoy our games, because if you want to pre-order a game, you've now got to dish out an extra 10 quid. That means you could be paying 60, 
or fifty pounds for one game when it, to pre-order it. That's not good. That those games are going to get incredibly expensive. That's not a good thing in my opinion. And finally, of course, it's being re released next month along as Call of Duty Ghost. It's a brand new Call of Duty. That's going to be an interesting thing to see how they're going to release both of those at the same time. I'm kind of excited for both. I probably won't get Call of Duty Ghost personally because I don't think it's exactly a good game in my opinion. But um, we'll see. We'll see how it all ends up. We'll see how it goes. And hopefully it will end up being a pretty, pretty good game. So anyway, that's really it from me today. Thank you very much for watching. If you can't rate and subscribe. Granted, this is not the greatest view in, review in the world. Well, not review, but news in the world. But come on, it's the first time I've ever done anything like this. So give me some break, give me some slack, and I'll see you in the next video.